In the past, the earth has been filled with violence and evil. Humans live in injustice, and their every thought and action is filled with evil. There was a man who lived righteously before God, and his name was Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among his contemporaries, and he walked with God. God, seeing the evil that was rampant on the earth, decided to end the lives of all living creatures with a terrible flood. However, because of Noah's righteousness, God would save Noah and his family. God spoke to Noah, giving clear and detailed instructions about how he should build a great ark that would save them from the flood. With perseverance and faith, Noah began to build the ark according to God's instructions. The ark was very large, enough to accommodate Noah, his wife, his three sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth and their wives, as well as a pair of every kind of animal, male and female. Every board, every nail was carefully installed, all according to God's commands. After the ark was completed, God ordered Noah to put everything that needed to be saved into the ark. Animals of all kinds came in pairs, and Noah and his family entered the ark. Then, it started to rain. It was not ordinary rain, but very heavy rain, which lasted for 40 days and 40 nights. In a short time, the flood covered the entire earth. Even the tops of the highest mountains sank below the surface of the water. Everything that lived outside the ark, humans and animals, perished. Only Noah, his family, and everyone in the ark survived. After 150 days, the waters began to recede, and the ark came to rest in the mountains of Ararat. Noah waited some more time before opening the door of the ark. He released a crow to check the situation outside, but it returned because it could not find a dry place. Then, Noah released the dove, which also returned because it still had not found a place to perch. On the next trial, the dove returned with an olive leaf in its beak, a sign that the water had begun to recede. After some time, when the dove was released and did not return, Noah knew that the earth was dry. With deep gratitude, Noah and his family came out of the ark along with the animals in it. Noah built an altar and offered burnt offerings to God as an expression of thanks for their salvation. God smelled the sweet-smelling offerings and promised that he would never again destroy the earth with a flood. As a sign of this covenant, God placed his bow in the sky, becoming a symbol of his promised love to all living creatures on earth. The story of Noah teaches about the importance of living in obedience and faith in God and shows how God's love and justice work in human history. In the midst of the ugliness of the world, God always provides salvation for those who are faithful and true before Him. Okay, that's the video. If friends like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.